The legendary Charlie Daniels is best known for his platinum single, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. I sat down with him recently to discuss his latest book, a memoir of his life on the way to becoming one of the most iconic figures in music. The title of the book, Never Look at the Empty Seats. Yes. What's that? It is a nod to accentuate the positive. When you're a young musician, if you're if you're serious about trying to make something out of yourself, and I was and am, you'll play for anything they'll give you, anywhere they'll let you play for anybody that shows up. Mm -hmm. You concentrate on them and you entertain them. And the next time that you come back to town, there's a good possibility they'll come back and bring somebody else with them. And that's how you build a following. Born in 1936, Charlie was 19 when he decided music was his calling. He taught himself how to play guitar, fiddle, and several other musical instruments. Although mostly known as a Southern rock and country artist, his writing is influenced by many different styles, starting with the music of his youth. I remember when it was big bands, when it was uh, uh, Benny Goodman and Harry James and all those guys, you know, and Frank Sinatra and, and the crooners and those people. And it went from that into Fats Domino and Little Richard and, you know, Elvis Presley came along, turned the world completely upside down. And then, you know, I, I had heard so much music by the time I got ready to do original music that some of all of it kind of filters into my creative process and it tends to come out within the bounds of a song. Mm -hmm. Maybe two or three different styles all in the same song. Charlie was far from an overnight success. He spent two decades as an unknown playing for other bands and artists before forming the Charlie Daniels Band in 1970 that became one of country rock's most influential bands. During that time, Charlie learned to hold on to his Christian faith, even though at times it was hanging by a thread. Uh, the man of God, how did that start? I mean, I, when the God consciousness? You know, I wrote, a, I wrote a chapter in that book on that, and it was the hardest chapter that I wrote. The reason being, I went through a lot of changes in my faith. I've gone through scores of, of just turning this way and turning that way and turning the other way. And I finally decided one day, I don't know what to believe. I had heard all my life, Jesus died for your sins. I believed it, but I didn't know how it applied to my salvation. I didn't know why it had to be that way. I did not understand it because mm -hmm. you can't earn it. You can't deserve it. You can't just go out and get it. And and I I wanted everybody to know exactly what I had gone through and exactly, you know, what I believe. In fact, Pentecostal gospel music has always been a major influence on Charlie's writing, but often it's not the music that inspires him. He's a patriot who loves his country and respects those who serve. I'm firmly convinced that the only two things that protect America are the grace of Almighty God and the United States military. Really? Another thing that affects your writing are, are world events. You're very, you you're, you're kind of an opinionated guy. I Charlie. am an opinionated guy. I noticed that a few times. My, my, <laughs> some people like it, some people don't. Recent events. Okay, let's mm -hmm. say racism, which is not recent, mm -hmm. but Charlottesville, when this goes mm -hmm. to air, of course, that'll be months behind us. But the kinds of th th things like that, does that affect your thinking? It affects my heart. I hate to see this nation divided like it is right now. Yeah. It really, really bothers me. Of all the things, if I could wish one thing mm. besides that everybody was saved, yeah. my next thing would be, why can't we all just get along? Yeah. Why do we have to have all this stuff? Why do we listen to all the negative things and draw our conclusions and then we get together and we can't even sit down and talk. That's stupid. I can sit down and talk to anybody if they're willing to talk to me. Charlie has won several music awards and in 2016 was honored to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. And even at 80 years old, with concerts booked well into 2018, Charlie says he is ready to keep entertaining his friends on stages across the country. Do you ever get tired of just doing that? My opportunity, my blessing that I get to get up on stage every night and entertain people with music that I have created. To steal a title from some other writers, 
Lennon McCartney. It's been a long and winding road. It has been. Where do you go from here? What What's it in mind for you? Get on that bus, hit the road. I keep doing the same things that that, uh, that I'm doing now. I intend to write another book. Really? The epitome is getting on stage in front of people and playing music you've created. I'm addicted to that. That's my thing. That's why I do all these other things or peripheral things around that. The honor of being able to perform. I love it. I literally love it. I love walking out on stage and, and playing music for people.